One of the first jobs we did at the start of our van build was construct an aluminium roof rack using extruded aluminium from JKM. This allowed us to easily mount our solar system and a small deck, but lends itself well to adding lots more accessories. So we've gone and bought a Fiamma F45S awning. Uh, the reason being that it's flat backed, it's designed to mount to a flat surface. So I think with the brackets that supplied with it, this is going to be an easy fit to our extruded aluminium roof rack. Why is it always the hottest day of the year when I have to work upon this roof rack? Shit. This is the bracket that comes with the Fiamma awning. I've just drilled out the square peg holes that are in the brackets into round eight mil holes. And I'm just transferring those holes and patterns onto this piece of aluminium bracket that I've cut to match the exact width of the bracket itself. So there is a nice top line just there where that bracket will sit so we've got continuity throughout all the brackets that run across the top of the van. So we can, again, mark the holes that we need to drill. And taking a, a, se a separate piece of extruded aluminium that the roof rack's made of, I can just mark on that angle bracket just the center points where the slot of the extruded aluminium is. This is so when we put some holes into the angle bracket to slot into the extruded aluminium, the bracket and holes will all line up. Hope that made sense. So that's our standard plate there that arrives with the kit, drilled out to eight mil. And this is some 40 by 40 by three mil angled bracket I've used as an adapter. And again, drilled out in those two places there to uh, eight mil and corresponding to the bracket there at eight mil and let's put them together and see how it goes because i must admit guys i was winging it a little bit with that one it's not like me to just wing it but it's too hot to do any thinking way too hot to do any thinking so now i need to build up these brackets by using some m8 stainless steel dome bolts and i'll be putting that bolt through there onto the bracket adapter that we've made. Always popping a, well done that right. <laughs> so with the brackets we've just made out of some 40 by 40 angle, we need to bolt them now to the flat plates that we get from Fiamma. And the way we're gonna do that is just drop some uh, stainless steel M8 bolts through that hole with a washer and the lock nut like so. And I'm going to let Nikki do that while I wash the roof of the van because it's filthy. So we can start by putting this first bracket, I'm going to put it in approximately 11 inches uh, from the end of the van here. That's roughly where these brackets needed to go along the, uh, the guided places on the Fiamma awning. Um, I'm using these slotted nuts. Uh, now these are slotted bolts that I can pop into my extruded aluminium by just dropping in and twisting and dropping in and twisting. Now I hope you guys could see that. So they're twisted into position like so. What I can now do is take the bracket that we've made, sorry for the wobbly footage guys, and drop that on like that. Now this is where we see whether it's going to work or whether it's going to fail and that looks as if it's going to be okay. Now we only need to put it in an approximated spot. The reason being um, we could always slide it left and right until we get the angle correct the way we want it. So for the time being we're just going to drop that there like so. Uh, make sure they're twisted right. Loosely put some nuts on just to hold it in place. And then we'll take a measurement from this one at the rear to where the one at the front's going to go and then pop the middle one in. So I'm happy with that for the time being. That's looking good. Yay! So that's all the brackets. One, two, three, all loosely fitted. So now comes the, uh, the truth of it. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get this all in on, shall we? Hmm, it's heavy. It's 
very scary. How was that? Was you scared? Uh, yeah. Oh, no, that was bloody heavy, I must admit. Okay. Honestly, drop one end. Wouldn't want to smash that. Anyway, that's on and it's positioned. Although we do, oddly enough, probably have to take it back off again to drill some holes in it for the bottom mounting screws. So while it's hanging on there, what we're now going to do is bolt these brackets firmly onto the uh, extruded aluminium. I'm so glad we made this rack out of extruded alloy. Brilliant stuff. Uh, and then we know those brackets are exactly where we need them to be so we can mark the holes when we have to undo this awning. So that's what we have to do guys. We have to undo the awning to access some points underneath on the brackets that are supplied to make a mark as to where we need to drill into the casing in order to put the bottom bolts in in order to make it secure so what we will not do is i don't think we'll lift it down we'll probably just pop it on top of the uh we'll probably pop it on top of the panels oh, that's a good idea. yeah okay so uh, do you want to stay up there are you okay han I'm okay, you sure yeah. all right we followed Fiamma's instructions to bolt the bottom of the awning to the mountain plate and as you can see, the awning is firmly attached and working on the side of our van. The Fiamma F45 adapted well with the extruded aluminium and leaves no usual gap as per the standard fittings for the Ducato style vans. The F45 is a fantastic awning to operate and so far is keeping us very dry in the rain and really cool in the sunshine. So we're here at the moment at Coniston Coppice testing out some new systems and some new kit that we've bought. So I'm sure we'll let you know how we get on. So we'll see you soon.